many of us began to learn about ancient Egypt in primary school. And while sculpting models of the Great Pyramids and learning about the gore of mummification are both interesting, it's nothing compared to the truly fascinating, rich history of the country. A history that we are still unravelling to this day. From recovered artefacts to unsupported theories, the continued exploration of one of history's most iconic eras gives us a constantly increasing insight into the past. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysteries from Egypt. The Giant Black Boxes The Serapium of Sakra in Egypt is often considered to be the burial place of the Apis Bulls, a holy representation of God. Other professionals disagree, claiming that this is merely speculation, theories based on assumptions. The Apis Bulls were a symbol of a god, believed to be incarnations of a deity able to walk the earth. A distinct difference, however, that separates the Apis Bulls from other sacred animals is that they weren't considered to simply be messengers between a deity and the human population, but rather that the Apis Bulls were the earthly manifestation of gods themselves. Some believe that the Apis Bulls were specifically incarnations of the ancient Egyptian god of craftsmen and architects. He was a husband and a father in the Triad of Memphis. He was also represented throughout history through both the Apis Bulls and the Jed Pillars. These holy animals were believed to be buried here. Once an Apis Bull passed away, it was believed that the gods became immortal, living in the form of an Osiris Apis. The importance of these bulls is reflected in the high importance of this burial site. Worshipping the Apis Bulls was a holy experience for many ancient Egyptians. This has been a holy event since the first dynasty in Memphis. A cultural shift occurred, where the Apis Bulls began to be worshipped as genuine gods. This was much later on, during the reign of King Kai's Echoes of the Second Dynasty. The sacred burials of the Apis Bulls are estimated to have begun in the 1350s. This was under the rule of the ninth pharaoh of the 18th Dynasty. The area can be likened to a maze. It's a religious institution, often a temple, that's dedicated to the Greco-Egyptian deity Serapis. Serapis is considered to be a combination of the holy and worshipped aspects taking on a human form. Beneath this, a series of large stone boxes, sarcophagi, supposedly used to bury the Apis bulls have been found. Each coffin seems to weigh a hundred tons, with each lid being estimated to be 30 tons. There is currently an ongoing debate amongst scholars regarding how these burial boxes were created, as they were presumably moved without a wheel and crafted using primitive tools. The initial discovery of these tombs was carried out by a Greek geographer who travelled to Egypt in 24 AD. The site was then rediscovered in 1850. Researchers and professionals began to question why and how these 24 coffins, sarcophagi, were moved to this site at all. Debate and conjecture have been in high volume since the uncovering of these boxes in more modern periods. There are some people who don't even consider these boxes to be the coffins of the sacred bulls, as the size is far greater than necessary to contain them. The contents of these sacred temples have been the source of plenty of speculation, theories and research. Professionals have expected these impressive stone boxes to be crafted from limestone due to the nature of the material being far easier to work with. Much to the surprise of many researchers, the stone used to craft the sarcophagi was rose granite. This adds to the prestige and grandeur of these sacred temples. The expertise and skill in the craft is incredibly precise. Allegedly, if the lid is placed correctly, the coffins become hermetically sealed air tights. The leading question at the forefront of skeptics' mind is, if these sarcophagi are designed for the sacred Apis bulls, then why are such complex materials used, as opposed to much simpler, more accessible, and more affordable alternatives? The majority of these sacred graves are crafted from rose granite, presumably sourced from a quarry just 800 kilometres away. 
though a small number of the stone boxes have been identified as being made from diorite. This material is not only more difficult to work with, but is also found at a much greater distance from the area, raising further questions as to why the creators of such impressive artefacts would use these materials that are so difficult to come across. Whilst the arguably most common assumption is that these boxes are sarcophagi, containing the remains of the Apis bulls, there are no traces or evidence of these bulls within the tombs. If they weren't what were tucked away in these grand, holy coffins, then what was hidden inside? The Mystery of the Missing Pyramidion Egypt, particularly Giza, is shrouded in mystery. One of the most notable questions being the missed pyramidion of the Great Pyramid of Khufu. These pyramidions of the Egyptian pyramids were typically made of sacred benven stone, or prior to this use, they were made of limestone, granite, and zyorite, then coated in gold. For as long as modern historians, archaeologists, and Egyptologists have been aware, the Great Pyramid has been without its apex, no point, and no tip on top. Some who have managed to climb to the top have taken measurements, concluding there's a space of approximately 30 feet flat on top of the pyramid. Speculation has arisen to what this pyramidion looked like, and what happened to the top of the Great Pyramid. Many professionals operate under the assumption that the famous Egyptian architect and royal political advisor was alive when the designs, planning and preparation of the Great Pyramid were underway. Some speculation has gone as far as to suggest that he may have suggested that Khufu hide the top of the pyramid within itself. His role in Egyptian society is largely unknown, even today. The understanding of his duties and even the span of his life are limited and have never been found. Ultimately, modern historians operate under the assumption that he was an architect and the Egyptian chancellor. He is presumed to be the mastermind behind some of the step pyramids, and some offer theories that he was the one who designed the Pyramid of Giza, perhaps without its top. Ancient traditions suggest that the Pyramidion is the final piece to be added to the pyramids, the most important, the most valuable aspect. Some believe the capstone for the Pyramid of Khufu was never there to begin with. This suggests the final piece of the puzzle was never created. Skeptics criticise this, debunking the theory, and claim that without the piece, the pyramid simply becomes a useless monument. Without the Pyramidion, the Pyramid of Giza may be assessed as simply a waste of time. A commonly accepted aspect of ancient Egyptian societies is that the pyramids were often used as tombs for pharaohs. The Great Pyramid allegedly was built for pharaoh Cheops. The gold cover pyramidions often symbolise the wealth of the pharaohs, but they also caught the shine of the sun, making those of higher societies visibly respected. Others argue that this demonstration of wealth simply invited thieves. Treasures and relics from within pyramids were known to be stolen. Perhaps this pyramid had a pyramidion that met the same fate. What is the true age of the pyramids? Some historians have been questioning the true age of the Egyptian pyramids. While we actively assume that ancient Egyptians built these impressive monuments, many now believe that the Great Pyramid of Giza may have been built by lost civilizations. This idea is fueled by the materials of the Sphinx. People think that the Sphinx has been made from natural rock, carved into the iconic shape before sand covered the area. This suggests that long before the ancient Egyptians arriving, the land had been fertile. This has been theorised by Malcolm Hutton and Jerry Cannon. Cannon explained that, you can't cover rock when it's under sand. This theory prompted further research. The pair carried on theorising and gathering more evidence. Their calculations indicated that the Sphinx and the pyramids had been built a minimum of 12,500 years ago. This was near towards the Ice Age. Some people have suggested that incredibly advanced civilizations lived on Earth. Some even name Atlantis as an example. Through their societies, creations and breakthroughs were allegedly wiped out and destroyed through flooding. These theorists continue to explain that the sunken city of Atlantis has structures similar to the Egyptian pyramids we know today. Many believe that the pyramids of Giza have been created by these same populations. 
This suggests that the dates of Egyptian pyramids could be more than 12,000 years old, far outdating the ancient Egyptians. Despite this speculation, the Egyptian authorities continue to confirm that the ancient Egyptian civilizations built these impressive landmarks, monuments, and pieces of history. We continue to discover plenty of Egypt's secrets, but many remain hidden. Many of the ideas that people create simply conflict and criticise existing premises. This constant changing and revising of ideas leaves us with many unanswered questions. Perhaps we won't ever find the solutions. So what do you make of these Egyptian mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.